All right, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to farm the Cerberus Juvenile at a low level. This is ideal for early to mid game Ironmen, group Ironmen, and anyone looking to jumpstart their Slayer training and Dungeoneering token reward farming. Cerberus Juvenile has a mechanic that discourages the player from standing far away. The further you are, the less damage you'll deal to the boss. The closer you are, the more damage you'll deal. So the traditional door lure is going to be ineffective at our low level. To get around this, we're going to use a blocking familiar to act as an artificial door. The game thinks you're right next to Cerberus, so you'll deal full damage, and you'll also have the benefit of having a safe spot, so you'll take no damage. For this, you'll want either the Platypus pet from the As a First Resort quest, or the Tooth Creature pet from Fairy Tale Part 3. Aside from the familiar, all you'll need to take full advantage of this is a Hellhound Slayer task. If you're on task, you'll get 10,000 Slayer XP per kill, which is pretty crazy. A typical task of 100 will put you all the way up to the mid-70s and give you 500k DG tokens. You can get the task from the Raptor, Duradel, Simona, or Curadel, who all have the task highly weighted. Gear-wise, I recommend to have a tier 50 or tier 60 weapon. For melee, that's either a Rune or Dragon Halberd, a Magic Shortbow for ranged, a Guthic Staff for mage, or tier 50 to 60 necro weapons. Magic or melee will give you the advantage of having Quake or Guthic Staff special attack to lower the monster's affinity, increasing your damage. If you've made other Slayer progress in your account, you may also be able to take advantage of items like the Focus Sight or Hex Crest to further increase your accuracy, but these are not necessary. Furthermore, meleeers can benefit from the Dragon Scimitar special attack, increasing accuracy by 25% for a full minute. Speaking from personal experience, at this low level in the 50s and 60s, your kills will take about 3 minutes. So you also have some good AFK time once you've got the safe spot set up. Let's get into the method. Use the grouping system to form a group, and set it to Zamorakian Undercity. Ready up in the group, and teleport yourself to the dungeon. Enter the dungeon and walk straight ahead. Once you reach the bottom of the stairs, walk two tiles forward. Walk one tile northeast. Use surge and click at the exact same time. This will prevent the four witches from getting aggroed onto your player. If you mess this up, tell you out and repeat the steps above, because the witches will most likely kill you very quickly. Once successful, you'll avoid the four most dangerous witches, but there is one unavoidable witch. Before going to the Cerberus room, kill this witch. It's a bit annoying, but in the long run, you'll actually get some nice supplies from your account, including things like planks, alcables, super ranging and super magic potions, and even some herbs. Now the Cerberus room. Stand at the door spot that you're likely already familiar with. You'll want to use a long stunning ability like tight bindings, deep impact, forceful backhand, or soul strike stun if you're using necromancy. At the same time that you use your stun, surge into the room and click this tile on the wall. Once you're situated on the wall, click the whistle button on your familiar interface to call your platypus or tooth creature. The familiar will always walk out from under you, creating a safe barrier between you and Cerberus. Now you're all set. Attack Cerberus with your favorite rebel bar and enjoy the AFK. Once he's dead, you'll have gained 10,000 Slayer XP, 5,000 Dungeoneering Tokens, and you're ready to repeat this process all over again. At my level, using tier 60 necromancy gear, I've consistently been able to get 12 kills an hour, resulting in 120k slayer XP and 60k DG tokens gained per hour. This is way better than anything else you can do at this level bracket. So while it may be a bit slow and tedious, it is really efficient. That's going to be it for this showcase, so I hope you found it useful for your early to mid game Ironman. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm making daily GIM content and have a lot of other content ranging from Iron Man Golden Reaper chasing, true trim progression, high level PVM, and more. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.